This is another episode of Lock Low. I'm in the drug game. If you got your case of the joint, you get the drug name. Sick of selling bundles of trades. I know it's better days. Trust me when it's time to slow out. And I can't see no pay. Now my mind is taking stick up. I'm double depressed. The fuck will get traps. I want to push your legs. The situation do or die. And do or die the situation. You rob a bank and kill the cop. But come in up with David. That's how it go. The world's been jibbing and just get over. I'm puffing blood back to back. Too many feelings sober. Sometimes I wonder what will this be over. Better than we just the case is knocking at the door like Mr. Rupa. That's why I say this rap shit gotta come through. And if not, watch out because you the one I put the back to. Paper like a stock for the clientele with the smokers. I could be forming in decks, but none of us are jokers. So when it comes to the day, that coolie on the fast. They really on my stomach, so they can kiss my ass. Yeah, baby, so I'm going to bed to see sick of yeah. One million dollars, but it's going better than life. But yeah. in this day and age, we struggle to maintain. My name is even in vain, but it's the baby that I write. Today, we're going to bed to see sick of yeah. One million dollars, but it's going better than life. But yeah. in this day and age, we struggle to maintain. My name is even in vain, but it's the baby that I write. Today, we're going to bed to see sick of yeah. One million dollars, but it's going better than life. But in this day and age, we Niggas come up in the streets banging coke and that's the money laundress. They make the gravy all run. Let's go on trips to California. A whole year send it rock when I'm some hold you. Teams collaborate, tell niggas with murder face grass. Quick nigga gate pushing big the shade over from out of state. We be accumulates, get on courts, go feed the rate waste. They make you rich and wait by the covers. I'm also made one. They can't put out my sense when it comes at my president. It's climbing to get this president's rocks for double buying the show. I'll make a million and I'm chilling. Don't go to drug game. Hello, world. I'm just here to make you think. Today, we're going to talk about one of my homies from Allegheny Avenue, from the 29th in Allegheny, the 16th in Allegheny. My homie, Dexter Lamb. May he rest in peace. Now, you know, back in early 90s, 91, I met Dexter. I was sent to the House of Correction, a place I wasn't even supposed to go to because of my series of charges. And mind you, I'm already on a run from doing, I was already was given juvenile life in a super max juvenile security facility way out in the northeast called Cornwell Heights, super max. So when I caught the cases and I was a last minute transfer, I was supposed to go to Holmesburg. But because I was a last minute transfer, they put me over the house correction and I didn't know why. It never dawned on me they sent me over there. But it, it turned out to be a good thing. I wanted to go to a home for anyway, but I'm glad I stopped at the house of correction. When I first got over there, they put me on E1. When I first get on E1, is where I meet Dexter Lamb. Now, when I was coming onto the block with my sheets, cup, spoon, with my blues on, coming through. So everybody coming from the yard, coming from, I guess, whatever they was doing in the yard, all eyes on me because they know I'm new on the block, but you know, I've seen a couple people. Then I seen my homie Chop. Chop got life. That's the boy Elliot that passed away. May he rest in peace, that's his brother. Now when Chop see me, Chop is getting escorted to the back of E Block. Because the back of E block is the hole. You know? And a, uh, I'm about to show y'all how that hole look. I'm about to Google that block. You know what I mean? But you see how this block is right here? You see the pipes on the side of the wall? That controls your toilet. So when you flush your toilet, them pipes move. And these are the cells. And if you can see, like, these cells, oh, the house correction look just like Holmesburg and look just like Eastern State Penitentiary. Now, in the back of, I'm going to see if I can find it for y'all because we might can get it. I'm about to see if I can get it for y'all because I want y'all to see this because there's a lot of pictures in here of the house correction that I want to show y'all. 
But when I was when I was in the house correction and Chop was getting escorted to the hole, he saw me. He did this Michael Jackson spin. Now, mind you, he's handcuffed. And he's handcuffed behind his back. He's not handcuffed frontwards, which should be the case because you got to protect yourself. When he see me, he do this Michael Jackson spin. He spin around, but when he spin around, it's like when he spin around, he made his, he bent down and he like turned and spent down like he was to the ground and he came back up. He was like twin. And what he did after that, he ran straight back to the back of the block where the hole was at. He left the guards. He was hyped when he seen me. And he ran to the back of the hole. He was hyped because he saw me. He said, it's on now, twin in the jail. And he ran through the E1. And everybody was like getting out of his way because people was coming for the yard. So they locked him in the hole. And this is when I meet Dexter Lamb. Dexter Lamb was like 6'3", 6'4". Ball head, like Mr. Clean. Dark skin, and his skin shine like, and he never worked out. And he was like, you know what he remind me of? You ever see that movie 300, when they fighting them um, Persians? And that real big Persian dude that was pulled to be a gladiator fighter, the big black bull, that's who he remind me of. He used to always walk around with his shirt off. He never wore a shirt. And you ain't gonna believe how old this boy was. And I'm, matter of fact, him, he remind me of Terrell Owens. You know how dark-skinned Terrell Owens is? And how in shape Terrell Owens is? That's just how he was built, no homo. That's just how he was built. And he was only 15. I'm 17. No, I mean, I'm 18. He's 15. Looking like a grown man. Right? Now, after I meet him, everybody on the block from North, South, Philly, whoever, I know who's this is the block I was on. I used to always get strapped up and go to the back of the block. We about to go to war. Right? Now, this boy wasn't no joke. And he was a phone junkie. He'd go in the phone room. He'd sit on a, a bucket and turn it like upside down so he could sit on it. And he'd just get on the phone and he'd just bend down like this. He won't get off the phone for nobody. He used to always say, he said, even when we got used to each other, he like, twin, you got a girl for me? But I knew a lot of females. That, you know, it was a no-brainer to me. So I gave him hooked up with a couple of girls. And he really was a phone joke. But I used to get on the phone and all that. You know what I mean? Because I, I used to go to war about the phones. He was on, like, in my squad. We used to go to war against neighborhoods and all that. He was on my uh, side. Uh, uh, Black Diamonds from 15th for Cecil B. Moore. You know what I'm saying? Shahid, Penitentiary, Ar Aggravated Saw Arnold. My homie Twine, it was a bunch of us. You know what I mean? But him, he hit you one time, you want to sleep. Feel me? Now, he wasn't no Rodney Belengo, but he wasn't that far from it. You know what I'm saying? But this boy was a serious problem. He ain't need no knife on the street. He ain't need no gun. He just was a Radical, wild, young boy that looked like a grown man. And he went to war about them phones. And one day he took Southwest to war. Right? Now the person he took to war. I'm about to get into this, y'all. This about to get real deep. Y'all hear me? This about to get real deep. And y'all might have heard it before because he may have told it to y'all. Yeah, you know I mean, but my main man, like when he came into jail, he must have came into jail from Holmesburg to pick. Yeah, you know I mean, because he would get in and out of jail, and then he came back for a body to 16 years. Yeah, you know I'm saying. And when he came into jail, before he did all that, he was coming around with all his homies, and he's like, um, it's this bull. 
and everybody was scared of him. And I'm talking about when nobody from Southwest go to Chow. They would not go down to Chow Hall because word was out if Dexter caught any of them boys from Southwest going to Chow, he was going to hurt them. So when my man came through, we're just going to say my man because, you know, we're going to call it, we're going to call it, we call it, you know what I mean? But anyway, it was my man Dewells. Y'all know who Dewells is in Southwest? Yeah, you know I mean, that's all I'm going to say. I ain't going to say his handle, I'm just say Dewells, right? Anyway, he come through the jail and was like, Yo, who is this boy? Because this Dewells put in work. He known for putting in work. So it's just a height difference. You know what I mean? Dewell's like five, seven, five, eight-ish. Dex like six, three, six, four. But Dex chiseled like a linebacker. You know what I mean? Nobody fat on him at all. And he get busy. He was he was running through these dudes. You know what I'm saying? And and when this happened, it's like 90, probably like 94, 95, or 96, something around the time, right? And what happened, they was just going out here and see how we do some north and they get busy and, and all that. Because at one time, Nell and, uh, you know what I'm saying, boy, who was over there at the time? It was the boy from down. Yeah, he was in the jail. He's fighting his case. Lord, the Lord Nell from Cumberland Street was down there. He was fighting his case and they kicked him out, put him over Holmesburg, right? So it's like they were just sending a lot of dudes from north over the house correction. And they were sending them new dudes in. So now the squads is changing. Because some dudes is going upstate. Some dudes are getting transferred over the house correction. Some dudes are going home. Some dudes are going to pick. So when Dewell's coming to jail and hear about the boy Dex, he say something to Dex. And Dex said, you don't want this. He said, y'all want anything you coming for and all that. So mind you, these boy, this boy got these dudes scared to come to child hall. I'm telling them they coming back mangled, eye all out here, arms broke, legs broke. Black eyes, neck brace, they go into the fernery. This shit is going down. So now they cross paths. They like in medical. So Duels get on the, he see the board deck. He look at him, they look at each other, he pass him. So you know he get on the water fountain. But he sneak up on Duels. And he hit Duels. Duels fall to the ground. Then Duels jump back up real fast, like ah. And they start mixing. And then Duels was fighting him, but the ball was too strong. See, I'm talking about he really is a cock strong, no homo, young boy. You know what I mean? So they mix it up, boom. Broke it up. Boom. Next thing you know, he get caught. Bex get caught. You know what I mean? Get caught. Southwest catching. You know what I mean? Air him out in the face, near the eye, in between the nose. Yeah, you know I mean, hit him up. He get ambulance out of there like helicopter flew out of there. Boom! They take him out of there. Boom! He don't die. He make it right. Boom! But Dex taking the shit on chicks. He's really wild. Yeah, you know I mean. And then when after that happened, it's a big incident inside the yard. Duels and Black Diamonds. They back to back fighting like cats and dogs in the county. Yeah, you know I'm saying because they, where they was going, they was putting in work. And when Dex Hill, he still was putting in work. But you know I'm saying, and when I seen him, when I was locked up with him again, he was over J Block. And he was selling the um the Dollar J's for our little squad we had over there, right? This right here. Is the house correction where, you know, on a um, when you go when you first just when they come in at like when you come in and go to the I'm first I'm gonna show you up top. See up top right there, you gotta go through there from your top tier to go to the child hall. And if you're in the bottom tier, you go to the child hall. You gotta walk down the steps, and right there, you see it. 
it's the, where the females at, where that yellow board at, that's the way to go to the visiting room, and that's the way to get out of jail. You know what I'm saying? So, and then if you go up these steps right here, that's how you get on the second tier. You know what I'm saying? It's the house correction. You know what I mean? A lot of people ain't never been in the house correction. I'm just showing y'all. And this is how the top tier look and the bottom tier. Oh, the house correction. The famous house correction. The bottom row, right here on this end, that's F block. In the middle is E block. And on the other end, on right here on this corner, is D block. So that's D, E, and F. F1, right? E1, D1. And then up top is D2, E2, and F2. I was on F1, F2, E1, E2, and D1 and D rear. D block is the dirtiest. This block on the end, the block on the end right here look like a dungeon. This block right here look like a dungeon. But this is the block I was on when I first met Dexter and uh, when Chop was coming through the hallway, it was coming in and it was coming in the hallway. And this when you did the Michael Jackson spin at and ran in this block right here. And that's why I met Dex at. Right there on that block right there. As a matter of fact, I'm opening up for you. This right here, that block right there, that's E1. And up top is E2. So I fully had E2. So I fully had E2. Seymour and them, um, Breeze from 20 from Carpenter, they was all on that block right there. Now, the house correction got two sides. The other side is like for workers, G1, G2, the mass jitters on that side. Like you go to the chapel, the gym and all that. Yeah, man, it's like it's like it's two parts of that place. There's another side of it. You go on the other side. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, it's a house correction, man. I mean, that's the that's the real deal. This right here, this right here, this Holmesburg. I mean, this greatest for it. That's great. When I was upstate, this how the block. I don't know what block this is. They all look alike, and I was on a block like this. Sitting in that same, sitting in them same type of benches he's sitting on. See how he's about to walk in the cell on the bottom tier? That's what man Dex, we man Dex was on the bottom tier. Me, Dex, Weasel. Now you see if you go close to the uh, to the bridge, I'm going to show y'all. Matter of fact, now you see them steps right there? That's where you go. To, and that right here, that, 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 that right there, that's where the, uh, the CO office is at. You got to walk up them steps and get your visiting pass. But but right there, right, if you can see on this side in the back, that's where my cell was at. The first cell was Weasel, then Bulldog, then my cell. You know what I mean? Shotgun cell was up here. We bagged that weed up at. You know what I mean? And it's two sides of this jail. Well, then it's this the first half. The other half on the other side. But you see how the old head is on the second tier? He must got a single cell. He probably came out of the cell and, and look, looking on the block. And from the looks of it, it looks like it's laundry day. No, let me see if it's laundry day. No, they just out on the block, just looking around. They about to play cards. They about to do a bunch of things, man. But that's why I was at, man. This is the, this is, this is the blocks. You know what I mean? And this is where we all was at, man. And it's some real shit right here, man. I'm just showing y'all, you know? I had to show y'all that, man, because it popped up. But, you know, back over the house correction, though. This is another high level is Creek C. Now, right there, what I'm showing y'all, that's F1 at the bottom and F2 up the top. Now, what we should do, we should go in the back of F1 and, and, and strap up with the wax and take another uh, part of the city to war about them phones. Because the phone room is actually... I'm about to show you. If y'all can see this real good, do y'all see that room right there? That's the phone room. That room right there is the phone room. Yup. That's the phone room. And right there, if y'all see that brown, that's the officer's desk. The officer's desk is right there. And they on that long, the thing about it, this them blocks is long. If something happened in the back, the guards can't see it. That's why we go in the back and go to war. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes you go in the back of the block 
you make a hole because it's already glass. Like you make a hole in the ceiling, which is really a floor for the second tier. And what we should do is if they if they shaking F2 down, they have passed their knives and contraband through that hole and we hold it for them and vice versa. Or we need some knives and we're going through something with somebody, we call up top and a uh and I tell them to send that down. I mean, you send them Jones down. They send it down to us, right? But I'm going to show y'all something, right? Something y'all ain't know, you know what I mean? Because remember I told y'all my brother, um, was, uh, what did I say my brother did? My brother was fighting the bull. My brother was fighting the bull Trey out, right? Seiku 40. And when Seiku 40, see how the bull, that's how we should do. You see how the bull on the gate right there? Either he coming from a visit or he, he work on center and he got the visiting pass. So like he'll be safe. He's a center runner, right? He'll come by with somebody visit and he'll put the piece of paper on the door. And either a block worker or a guard to come get it. He'll tell the block worker, take this to such and such cell because he got a visit. And they call your name on the loudspeaker, man. Yeah, but the boy Dex, man, he, he really... Made a name for himself over there, man. Where's though a lot of dudes feared him, man. I'm talking about really feared him. This this a feet, this is this is see that right there? That's a CO walking, a female CO walking. That probably that CO. Remember, I told you I made bell and the lady had the perfume on. That's probably her. Because they let me go from the same jail. Yup. And matter of fact. They let me go from, I think I was on D2 when they let me go. Yeah, you know I mean, if you see this, then look, 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 look at him. Then he, he on the gate, right? And she like, she got a cup of coffee in her hand. He probably looking at it, trying to talk all oh, high ladder. Yeah, you know I mean, they don't get no better than this, man. They don't get no better footage than this, man. Y'all have no idea what I just showed y'all. Everybody gonna go crazy. They gonna go crazy when they see this man. Know why? Because I break back memories to a lot of people that ain't seen this before. I'm about to show y'all something else too. Now this right here is the house correction in the air. Now you see what I'm saying? You see all them blocks, how long them blocks is? This is the house correction. And the center is where everybody come to to go on visits, to go to court. They got to all meet there and go to the medical detective. Remember I told you I snuck the phones and I was correction? I left it because I didn't want to go to the medical detective and they find it. You know what I mean? Yeah, though. And look, that building right there, that's the building you go in when you uh about to go visit somebody. If I'm mistaken, I think, what's the name on here too? This might be home. This still the house correction. This is a different view of it. You see that long block? That's F1. See them long blocks? See how they be looking? F1, F2. That ain't no joke, man. Listen, man. When I tell y'all that the house correction was wild, I, if I, I couldn't even make it up if I wanted to, y'all. You know what I mean? The creek. There's another view of it. I'm about to show y'all. Now, look what I'm about to show you now. Now, this is what I'm about to show you now. Now, you see this right here? This is the inmates, I think, coming from the gym. You see how the two females is right there? See how the inmates right there? I think that I think that's the I think that's the way to the gym and the law library. Now the law library, no law library over there. Gym doing the chapel is. Yeah, you know I mean, I know I'm bringing back memories of so many people, man. When they see this, they going like, "Yo, oh man, hot. Yo, man, oh, I like that video you did with the house correction and um." And all that, they're going to be loving it. You know why they're going to love it? What is that? Damn, it looks familiar, but I don't want to go there, though. 
from Chuck. As y'all think, did y'all see that one? I don't know if y'all seen this one. I think y'all seen this one. Did y'all see this one? Y'all seen that one? I'm getting angry, with y'all. This is crazy, man. I'm sitting there looking at this. I'm about to show y'all something, right? Y'all remember I told y'all I was on death row for them five hours? This is how it look on death row. Your cell is on one side. The gate is, and the reason why the gate is on the other side like that, so when a counselor come see you, they on the other side of that gate. But if you're just a regular inmate, they'll come see you, but death row, sometimes they, do, they need to be behind that gate. But this is how it looks. My cell like that, but see, it don't open like that. It just it sling to the side, to the wall. You know, but yeah, though, this right here, y'all, is the hallway we used to go down to make that thing. Oh, hold on, come on, do that to me. I just seen that under that. We're gonna bring, bring that back. I want to show y'all this because I just went past it. We want to see it again. Here it go, here it go. That ain't it, but it's gonna come up. We got to. Oh, you see this right here? You see them pipes on the side? Or the door, like I told y'all, we should use them to make wax out of knives. We should go way to the back, man. And from once, I ain't gonna lie to you. My last time here, they had me in the back. Now look how back here it is. It's the back, right? They had me back here, right? And the ball turned to fan, and it'd be so hot, man. It'd be so hot. You see that TV is back there. I mean, we watch. I mean. They got the TV in the back now. The house of correction, man. Whoa, you know what I mean? Now, you see this right here? This is on your way to the visiting room. You see, I go to school, the visiting room, see the, the counselor and all that. You go through here, they open the door for you, and you see your people. You can see them. Matter of fact, you see where they at right there? She right there. If the, on the other side is when you can see your visit come through and they search them, they let them come through and you go to that room. Yeah, man, it's just, whoa, y'all have no idea. This is memories, y'all. You know? It's, boy, this is good memories. You know why it's good memories? Because we block this is. See the walls, see the benches on the side where people used to sit at and just chill on the back. They just use them same benches to sit on and go use the phone. You know what I mean? I'm going to see if I can get the hole. Let me see. I'm going to see if I can get the hole. Watch this. Because, you know, the hole, the hole, that hole is so nasty in the house correction, y'all. The hole in the house correction in Philly. Department of Prisons House. Came back up, y'all. But I don't know if they're going to show it. This is how I look in the front of the creek. You know what I mean? That's that building I showed y'all. That's where you, that's this where you, this where you, um, you wait in. This the visit, this the waiting room and it's the visiting room on the other side. This, this, this part over here, I think, is where they wait at and this is the visiting room. It's either that or the waiting room, one or the other. I know it's one or the other, though. You know what I mean? And the creek, boy. All right, now look. So Dex came over Holmesburg, right? And when he came over Holmesburg, he was on J Block with us. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people didn't know he was that young. And a lot of people didn't know he was getting high. I mean, he was smoking crack without ain't nobody know. That's why he kept going to jail, catching these crazy ass cases. Yeah, you know I mean, because he had to support that drug habit, man. But you would never know he was getting high, and you would never know he was that young. But when he had went home, he started robbing people, extorting people, people he was locked up with. A lot of people were scared of this boy. I'm talking about real killers were scared of him. So he went down the neighborhood down North Philly, 
in another part of North Philly. And, and he was around some people he knew. And soon he turned his back. They shot him in the back of his head and killed him. Because they was that scared of this boy, man. I mean, it wasn't like they were scared they were going to run, but I was like, they just got tired of him. He was looking out for dudes. He was, I mean, going to people's pockets. He was doing a lot of crazy shit, man. Like, and he didn't give a fuck, man. Like, he had no emotion about it. He wasn't emotional at all. He always was the same person with his poker face. He never stressed about nothing. He's just be in his room smoking his J's with this T-shirt that looked like a a wave cap around his head until he got the wave cap. And I was like, why you got a wave cap on? You ain't got no hair. He's, look, he's, every time I see him, he never had a shirt. He used to walk up to me. What's up, Lord Twin? What's up, Lord Twin? You know what I mean? Dexter, man. Like, it's too Dexter, but that Dexter, when I say Dexter Lamb, trust me, people in Philly know who he is. His name was ringing in the jail system, man. You know what I mean? And he was terrorizing shit on the streets, and he was young. I mean, he died young. He, he got killed when I was upstate. I mean, you know, Dexter. And then you had a lot of dudes in Philly down a house correction, like everybody on 18th and Cumberland, 17th and Cumberland was over the house correction back then. I mean, rock star, fat man, smoke. Um, D nice, like it was everybody. Everybody was over the creek. My twin brother was over there with him. That's that I watched the show, y'all. That's when my twin brother got paroled. That he left there, and when I came over there, everybody thought I was my twin brother, the seals, and everybody. I'm gonna try to see if I can. I don't know if I can get. I don't know if they want to let it, let me see it, but House of Correction, solitary confinement. It might show it. Well, I guess, I mean, I know this ain't the hole because I know how the house correction hole look. But they got all these other holes on here. You know what I mean? I don't want to show y'all anything. You know what I mean? But I can tell y'all, like, upstate, this upstate, this how you when you look upstate. Just like that. You look out a window like that. Sometimes that bar is there, sometimes it ain't there. That's what kind of window you look like. Look out. You know? Hold on. Oh, let me see. 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 I might have seen some. I know I'm going to see. Greatest Forge Death Row. I ain't see nothing about no inmates. Greatest Ford Prison Death Row. I hope they show it because I was over that joint too. Oh, they, they showed a little bit of it. They ain't really show all of it. They just show like. Oh. They only show. It'll be something like this. All right, now you see how he in his cage? Better look. These are the kind of cages they put you in when you're in a hole. I mean, when I was up Camp Hill, when I was up Cold Township, in Greatest Ford, they put you in cages like this. Now, the real, real big cage, you got the basketball court. you just like it. I think it's behind the gate. These joints, they put you in these joints like this, and you will just walk around in circles, exercise, getting fresh air, talking to the ball next to you. See, I never realized until like to just now why people wanted me to just like, you know what I mean? Like these, they got these like up like the new jails, like Minahoy, Retreat, Smithville. These are the type of holes they got you, and they just put you in there, like stuff like this. But I realized why people wanted me to come outside. While I was in the hole because we locked in, so they people want to come out. And a lot of times I ain't want to come outside to be locked in no cage like no dog. Look at this hole. I mean, look at that. Look at that cell. That's crazy, right? 
This is how they got this man. You know what I mean? Yeah, though. And tell the truth. Don't this look like the Zudio? How they got him in his cage? You know what I mean? Make me like the, you know what I mean? Yeah, though. But the jail stories, man, it's like, it's just crazy because I think about it and I see to myself, damn, man. Look at this shit. You know what I mean? And then you, I'm talking about like, there's a lot of dudes that y'all know that's home now, that's upstate, that was in a hole like this. If somebody called you and or they wrote you and said they was in a hole, this is the kind of recreation they did. They even be places like that. You know what I mean? This is why I always look out for a lot of people. Now, this like this, this ain't greatest for, right? This look like Huntington a little bit. This how Huntington blocks you. This how D block looked it. And, well, E block. It'd be like the, the floor be shine. The reason why them yellow lines there because you can't walk out on the other side of that line. You can only walk. She was a lady. Is that a CO or a counselor? You can only walk on that line. My, you only can walk in the middle. I don't know. But you see these tears. This joint look like it got um four tears, right? One, two, three, and four tears. Some jails got six tears. I was on the third tier, and I used to look over the thing. And I used to have, I, at first I was afraid of heights and had to band up there for a year, like almost, I think a year before I went home. Well, I went to mines, but when you're up there so long on the third tier and you got a single cell, and you look over the banister, that's the banister. That's, you see it at the third tier? I used to throw bags of food down there. Like, now you see, I'm going to show y'all. Remember I told y'all people used to come through my block. Now, if they come through my block going to aerobics or something, or going to the gym or whatever, see, I, see if they were to walk on, a, if they walk past, I'll be on the third tier, and they'll look up, and I'll drop the bag down. They'll catch it and keep walking. I used to do this all the time for my homies. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, the jail life is real, man. Like, I don't want nobody to ever think that this prison life is a joke, man. This ain't no joke. This is the real deal, you hear me? That life ain't no joke, man. Like, I live that shit, man. I'm not proud of it. You know I mean, this how, listen, this how it looks on death row. Your doors look like this, and they slide straight across. But the motor, you see this right here with the key, the key whole thing at? See, inside them is a motor. Inside of them boxes, all right, you, you see that, 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 the, how the, the panel in between the bars, they look like that little wall that goes straight down, or this right here where the key go at right here. Either this right here or this right here, or the other one got a motor in it, right? You see how the door slide to the straight to the side? Well, the motor in my door blew. So they put me on death row for six hours or well, five hours on death row, all because the motor in my door blew. You know what I mean? So I want to give y'all like a perspective, like like an insight, like how this thing looked, because a lot of people don't know how it look. And look at this four man cell. The nigga tell this this is old. This is my in the movie Penitentiary. This is a four man cell. Damn. Four man cell. Just think about this shit stress you out, man. And you can tell they was look, now look, now look. You could tell they was doing some hard time. Look how old this looks, right? And look how they look. I mean, this mind you of uh, the movie Penitentiary. Don't it? That's back in the day. It's like that American me looking John. But yeah, though, like that jail life, the survival of it, the mental anguish, the stressful. All that, the craziness behind that whole situation, man. Create enemies, create friends, create allies, create envy and jealousy, like all type of shit. I'm talking about like you'd be surprised what goes what a human mind would think of why they in jail, how they hurt people, how they set people up. It was it's built to make us destroy each other, man. And I had to really live through this and still come out of this sane. 
And I'm saying to myself, what if I was somebody else watching somebody? What if I was just like for real, like Rodney never was in jail, nothing like that. And I was watching somebody like me on the internet for the first time or whatever. I'd be like, dang, man, he been through a lot. I mean, it's not a thing that I have, man. Think about it. I was over these places where I lost my twin brother. I'm by myself. I don't got him no more. So I'm stressing about that. Stressing about my baby mom. Stressing about the cases. You know what I mean? Stressing about doing something to the dudes who did that to my brother. You know what I mean? Yeah, stressing about getting on the phones. I'm trying to get out of the joint, break out. I'm, everything running through my head, man. So sometimes I just snap. I just go on the phone with both my knives on me. Like I say, I wish somebody would touch that phone. Like I have a couple fights. I bought the I bought the boy Flavor from from West Philly. The Flavor was alright with me, man. He's a thorough dude from West. Yeah, you know I mean, and I'm glad that we didn't hurt each other. You know what I'm saying? Because when you think about it, we was young. I you know what I mean, from different hoods and. The macho thing and the pride and the, you know, he knew I was thorough. Sometimes it takes something like that. So, and then somebody said, yo, you fooled him. Oh, you know, that boy's somebody. And then he find out. Like, and then when he see me, well, greatest fool is. I look at him like, hey, what's up? Like, like we really like that because we fought before. So my thing is, we ain't enemies. I know you up there. I'm up here too. You know what I mean? But he already know by now who I really am. You know what I'm saying? That's how they, be. oh man, I like it. Oh my, oh my, listen, y'all, I almost forgot about this one ball, man. And like, like I tell y'all, man, I love y'all. By me bringing up these old memories, these old stories, I want y'all to know one thing. It was this slim ball back there with me, Belango, my brother, Sekou, and all of us back in the hole in Holmesburg. His name was Jihad. He was slim. I think he was from Southwest. Or West Philly. He was dark skinned. He used to wear his hair high and round like mine's. And this boy had a lot of fucking heart, man. But Lango loved him. Say who loved him. I don't know where this boy at. I think he got the will. And if I ain't mistaken, he might have been, what's the name of them, Rappy? If I am mistaken, I think that's the Jihad that was um from down Hoop Street. Cause I think he was Mike Lilly and them rapping with the Overbrook pharmacy robbery. If I ain't mistaken, because I knew they all knew each other. You know what I mean? Because he was ministrated with us when I was back there with Big Boosie and Lil Boosie and all that. And I think he was they rapping. Skinny Jihad, dark skin. Round top, thorough. He move out, boy. Yeah, you know I mean, as I get off this, I'm calling my brother. I'm like, who remember you had? Damn, because he used to always ask about me. You know what I'm saying? I think he was up Green County with my brother or Smith. Or he was somewhere with my brother. He might have been on Grace for. But y'all know little, y'all know skinny Jahad. Dark skin, skinny Jahad was down the bird. Real thorough. Real smooth, boy. Yeah, I mean, damn, man, memory's starting to come back, y'all. Y'all have no idea, y'all. Y'all have no idea. Yeah, I mean, that boy right there, he was thorough. I remember he was going to court and everything and all that. I remember when he got sentenced, they put the, um, see, when they sent you over Holmesburg, they put your, um, your armband, they put it on your leg. Cause they don't want nobody to see it. You know what I mean? That's the honestly, you know what's crazy though, man. I know people that get life. I know that has to be a mental, that has to be like a first step of that reality. When they take the armband off your wrist and put it on your leg. Youngins, man, that's a mental, you get you have a mental breakdown, nervous breakdown like that, man. Knowing that you got life now and and, and that bracelet remind you. I just see the feds come get dudes, detectives. You go to court, they they come to get people, taking them places. People got warrants from all over the world. They coming to get. That thing ain't no joke, y'all. 
I'm glad I can share that with y'all, but no decks with somebody, man. And Jihad, skinny, dark skin Jihad, man. He's a soldier. He's somewhere up in the mountains. I'm going to find him. send him some money, some pictures. Yeah, Jihad, man. Skinny Jihad. Peace. For the trenches. Oh, hold up. Forgot, forgot, forgot. No, 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 no. Y'all also got to understand another thing, too. I'm going to stay on for a minute. This is uh, brought to you today by a big fella fully food truck on Adams Avenue, Whitaker Avenue. Some boy had commented and said, yo, I had that food. It's banging, man. He said he had the Philly, he said he had the cheese steak to fill up here. He had the big fill up Philly cheese steak. And he said he had some type of shrimp combination, right? He said that thing was off the, was something nice. That's the big fella Philly food truck on Adams Avenue, Whitaker Avenue. Also, Showtime Promotion. Showtime Promotion is linked up with me. We merged together. You know what I mean? To really bring this platform on another level, along with the new Lou and Choose on 21st and Huntington Park. You know what I mean? So when y'all see Showtime, S-H-Y, no, excuse me, S-H-O-T-Y-M-E. When y'all see that, when y'all see show spell S-H-O and time spelled T-Y-M-E with production under there, y'all know that's us. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know that's us because y'all going to see that a lot. Y'all going to hear that a lot. We together. We merge together. You know what I mean? This is how we bring all these celebrities and all that stuff to the city. We're not playing no games. You know what I mean? And all the dollars who didn't believe me, y'all heard um, what's the name of the radio station today? Patty Jackson saying Chuck Rock was coming. Somebody even said something in my video earlier when I did Philly Trenches Celebrity News slash World News episode 12. Somebody commented and said, yeah, Patty Jackson just said today that he was coming to Philly. You know what I mean? Also, I want y'all to go off 52nd in Jefferson to Big Mama's Cooking inside the plaza, inside the shop, right? And, and give a black sister, young black sister, a play. And, you know what I mean? Support that because she got some good food. And she doing the right thing. You feel what I'm saying? Make sure you go see Big Mamas. Your man, go see her, man. Go look out for her. Mama's Cooking Cafe inside Shop Right. The Plaza on Parkside. Parkside Plaza. 52nd and Jefferson. Mama's Cooking Cafe. Also out in the Northeast, you got TNT Barbershop along with Royal Blue. Restaurant in the same plaza on Ashton Road, the 9000 block of Ashton Road. The barbershop is 9222 Ashton Road. And the restaurant, Royal Blue, is 9226 Ashton Road. Get them brothers to play, man. They our peoples, man. We're going to make this thing happen. And that's how we're doing it. We got a lot of things going on. You know what I mean? We have a lot of things going on. You hear me? We got, um, I'm going to tell you what we got going on. We got something else going on on the 29th, too. Even though we got the fish fry slash um, comedy show. We, we got that going on without a question. That's going to be on the 30th, right? On the 30th. But on the 29th, like I told you, man, like the female I know that got the tag place, she also got this thing going on with the... Uh, this party going on, you know what I mean? A cabaret doing wild animals, topless uh, waitresses. Like, this thing going to be popping, man. And you already see how beautiful she looked. So there's going to be some nice looking females there. You feel what I'm saying? It's going to be show it to y'all now. It's going to be Friday, October 29th. You know what I mean? There's a, there's a costume, like a like one of them cabaret. Uh, y'all going to see it. It's right here. If I can show it, y'all can see it. I want to show it to you. Y'all see that? Put them in open up for y'all. First, I'm gonna give you the uh, information. That's the information, right? This is the information, right? See Showtime on there, he on there, right? Now I'm gonna show you this part right here. See that part right there? They having that, man. Y'all gotta go check it out. Yeah, I mean, it's like a, it's going, it's going to be popping. I got, it. As a matter of fact, that ain't the only one I got. This one better right here. 
You know what I mean? Hold up. I want to show you the address. Okay, so here it go. This is the... Now I want y'all to... Um, the tickets are available. But here's the number that can call any one of these numbers right here. If y'all want to go to that show, y'all call any one of them numbers. But it's going to be on Friday. On a Friday, it's going to be best dress prize, um, $200. Second best prize, $100. Third best prize, fifty dollars. First best prize is two hundred. Second best prize is a hundred. Third best prize is fifty dollars. You see, tickets twenty five dollars includes admission, tour, museum, food, and cash bar. This is gonna be located at uh. Pavilion, the Butterfly Pavilion on Frankfurt Avenue. I mean, I'm gonna get the rest of this address on here. I want y'all to attend that because that thing will be popping, man. The cabaret this is gonna be crazy, man. 8046 Frankfurt Avenue, 8046 Frankfurt Avenue, the Butterfly Pavilion is having this party in Philly. On the 29th of October. So we having this event. Costume event. Best dress. They give me $200. And second place $100. Third place $50. Right? It's on, it's on the 8,000 block of Frankfurt Avenue. It's, on, it's 8046 Frankfurt Avenue. The Butterfly Pavilion. On the 29th of October. On the 30th we having a fish fry. Slash. Comedy show. I still got tickets y'all. You know what I mean? Get with me if y'all want them. I got a few more left. You know what I'm saying? I got probably at least like 50 left. Get with me. Yeah, you know I mean, it's gonna get you some free food at the fish fry, free comedy show. Yeah, you know I mean, also on the 31st, we bring a chub rock. We already know he coming. You already know who he gonna uh represent. We represent Black Rob, DMX, and Biz Mark. You know what I'm saying? So I see y'all tonight at eight o'clock for Philly Trenches Talk at the Dark. Episode, I think we're on episode 22 or 23. Yeah, you know I mean, but be there tonight at eight o'clock because I'm gonna be there. Peace. Hold on, let me see who that is. That's uh, that's, that's speaking to me. Yeah, man, you know, more power to you, brother. I appreciate your support. You know what I'm saying? Salute to you. You feel me? The time you did and all that. Baltimore, what's going on, man? I appreciate it. I appreciate all y'all, man. I want y'all to come back on at 8 o'clock, all right? Now, at 8 o'clock, we talk about whatever. You know what I mean? That's why I made that show up. That's why I be, be on it for two hours and all that, because everybody be talking. They be getting me to talk and bring up all these old memories, all right? So come back on here at 8 o'clock. We're going to have this thing popping and rock. You know how we always do We do this thing. Y'all see the, the, the show is, is growing. It's there. The content, the views going up again. Yeah, you know I mean, it went up again. Yeah, you know I mean, I thought it went up another 2,750. It went up more than that. It went up 27 would have been 40. It would have been another 400. So that would have been. It went up another. It went up 3,100. Yeah, I mean, that's good money because it seemed like every video is getting better and better. Like, like them videos when I go in, I be talking about just about anything. I go in, man. I just zone out. I can feel it, too. I can feel that I'm elevating. And when I watch it for the first time, I said, Dad, I said that? Because, my, I'm freestyling. Y'all watching me talk. I'm not watching me talk. I'm just talking. So I don't know how y'all feel about what I'm saying unless I get the feedback. Everybody say, I watch all your videos, man. I love your videos. I love to hear that because that's what it's about. To uplift my people, man, to wake them up on certain things and help get out of uh, people's out the streets. You feel me? So I see y'all in a, like two hours, two and a half hours. Peace. 
Let's say. I appreciate you too, man. I appreciate you too. I appreciate all y'all. I see y'all tonight at 8 o'clock. You hear me? Appreciate y'all. Believe that. 